Hello there, good afternoon. The autumnal equinox today is the start of a new season and it's going to be a very unsettled start to autumn for some of us. Low pressure is moving into southern areas of the UK. This has already been bringing some heavy pulses of rain, even some thunderstorms around to kick off the day and those could continue to rumble on a little bit longer for some of us across Wales, central southern areas of England. There's a rain warning in force for these regions of the UK, so do take care of the course of the day if you are travelling at or will be quite humid and muggy underneath all of this. Temperatures in the south generally between 18 and 21 degrees Celsius. It is going to be dry up over towards the north, though the best of the sunshine today for the likes of Cumbria, Northern Ireland, into parts of western Scotland as well. Oban, Fort William potentially climbing towards 18, 19 degrees Celsius, but feeling much cooler along eastern coast of Scotland down in through the central belt and towards northeast England as well, where we do see the cloud and gloom really sort of lingering throughout much of the day. That cloud will want to spill in a little bit further inland as we head towards evening period and the sun does begin to set, but a few clearer spells will hold on for Western Scotland. But our attention really is across the rain that's going to be moving across parts of Wales and England. Another pulse moving into the southeast as we end the evening and again spreading its way northwards at times. As a result, there is another rain warning that comes into force on Monday as well. Underneath all that rain and cloud for many of us, it is going to be a rather mild night. Most of our temperatures holding up in the mid-teens, 15 to 16 degrees Celsius as the lows in the far southeast. But it will be a little bit chillier for those parts of western Scotland that hold on to the clearest skies. There may even be some very sheltered spots that see a touch of frost first thing on Monday morning. We'll start to see some rainfall now arriving into Scotland as we start off Monday. We've got a band just moving its way into the Northern Isles. It will arrive for the Highlands, parts of Lewis and Harris during the day as well. And Monday is generally going to be a bit cloudier for Northern Ireland and much of Scotland. Just a few sunny spells holding on to the Dumfries and Galloway southwestern portion. A few sunny spells also across the far southeast of England as well. But really the focus is on that rainfall across central regions. The rainfall accumulations here for the next 48 hours show that most of us will see a little bit of light rain and some drizzle around at times, that sort of light blue color. But you'll see those darker blues really setting themselves in across central areas of the UK. And this is where we'll really see those rainfall totals totting up at least 50 to 80 millimetres in some spots. Localised areas may even see close to 100 or 120 millimetres or so by the end of Monday, which is well over a month's worth of rain falling in the next couple of days. As a result, there is an amber weather warning in force, stretching its way from the Humber side down towards the Wash and then into the Midlands areas over towards Birmingham and the likes of Gloucester just making its way in there as well. This is the region where we could really potentially see some localised disruption during the day on Monday with flooding and disruption to travel in places as well. Not all these counties will be affected by the rain equally, but where those heavy pulses really do occur, it is certainly worth making sure that you are taking care over the course of the day. There is a broader yellow warning still in force for more areas of England and spreading into Wales as well. So even though the heaviest of those totals is looking like it will be across central portions, again, do continue to take care across all these regions as well as that heavy rain and showers move their way through during the day. In terms of temperatures, where we do see that sunshine across the far southeast, we will still climb to highs of around 20, 21 degrees Celsius. It will be feeling quite cool underneath all that cloud and rain across central areas. And as well, across parts of Scotland, it will be a bit cooler for some of us as well. 13, 14 degrees Celsius really is your best bet here. That rain across central regions will gradually want to move its way over towards the North Sea as we head during the end of Monday and over towards Tuesday. The area of low pressure that is bringing all this rain is gradually moving its way eastwards and over towards continental Europe. But we have our next area of low pressure that is going to start arriving in from the Atlantic as we head towards the middle part of the week. So Wednesday and Thursday could see again some more wet and windy weather. Once this clears its way through towards the end of the week, we've got cooler conditions moving in from the Arctic. Those blue colours in there indicating colder weather arriving as we end the week. So there's plenty to keep up to date with over the next few days. Do subscribe to the YouTube channel so you get all the latest. We'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.